I remember clearly the day my father retired. There was the work party, of course, and the engraved clock, all designed to nicely wrap up the end of 47 years as a railway porter. Everybody knew Henry, my father. Everyone said that they would miss him. He was strangely silent all day. I was concerned that he'd feel lost without his work. I needn't have worried. Retirement suits him. Morning, Henry dear. You are a sleepy head this morning. Oh. It's eight o'clock. Oh, morning, Emmy. Oh, I just couldn't wake up this morning. The lady on the radio said today will be sunny. Mm. And she was right. Have you been up long? Long enough to read the paper from Go to Woe. Mm. Your little friend is back. Oh, no. There was a good article in the paper about a new type of robot. Mm -hmm. Within five years, they will be able to do almost anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could get a robot that could read the newspaper for us. <laughs> It says here, in New York, a person gets mugged every two minutes. <laughs> You'd think he wouldn't bother going out. <laughs> in five <laughs> years, he could stay in and get mugged by his robot. <laughs> Yes, dear. Yeah. emissions have reached an all-time high, increasing the hole in the ozone layer. Reports just in seem to indicate that the hole is growing by about 4.9% each year. Delegation I knew it was a mistake for Jim next door to buy that greenhouse. Hmm? Do we have any ozone, Henry? Oh, no, 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 dear, no. We couldn't afford any. <laughs> no. Haven't you got anything better to do? Thomas and how is its way 
lay across the misty heath of the Scottish Highlands. <laughs> There's something about the three four three. A lion's roar amongst its more modest cousins, the Hexen and the Gerald Gerber. Shining and magnificent, she bucks and strings at her couplings. She's keen to get on with her journey. So let's join her now. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 